And so this is what we've been playing towards. It's time for the final round, which, as always, is general knowledge. But I'm afraid those of you who lost your head-to-heads won't be allowed to take part in this round. So Heather and Bob from Two and a Half Tandems and Kevin and Dave from the Eggheads, time to leave the studio, please. So Ed, Trudy and David, you are playing to win Two and a Half Tandems, £26,000. And Daphne, Chris and Barry, you're playing for something which money can't buy. The Egghead's reputation. As usual, I'll ask each team three questions in turn. This time the questions are all general knowledge. That's one of the differences. The big one is, though, you are allowed to confer in this, the final round. So two and a half tandems. The question is, are your three brains better than the Egghead's three? And two and a half tandems, your choice, as always. Do you want to go first or second? Um, we'd like to go first, please, Dermot. Well, good luck. And your first question is this. Air Force and powder are shades of which colour? Blue, red or yellow? Powder blue, Air Force blue. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think blue. I, think, I think it must be blue. Yeah, go for blue. Well, yeah, yeah. Powder blue. Powder yeah. blue, yeah. Okay. Blue sounds good. Um, yeah, we're going to go with um, blue. Blue. Powder blue, Air Force blue, about the only colour that isn't on David's shirt there. <laughs> It is the right answer. Well done. And Eggheads, what type of creature is a hearter beast native to Africa? Monkey, lizard or antelope? It's always it's an antelope. antelope. It's related to the wilderness, yeah. In accordance with one of the well-established Egghead rules, it's always an antelope. <laughs> okay, it's always an antelope. It's the right answer, Eggheads. Back to two and a half tandems. An image of what type of weapon features on the flag of Mozambique? Kalashnikov, a machete, or a hand grenade? Well, I mean, they had a, a long sort of border war mm. with the apartheid regime in South Africa, right. and Kalashnikovs were used quite a lot. I, I can't think it would be a hand grenade. There wouldn't be any logic in that. No. You might think a machete, but a, a, a machete is more with the kind of equatorial parts of Africa. So my feeling would be Kalashnikov. Yeah. You, what, what do you think? Mm. Um, I wouldn't have thought hand grenade. I would tend to go with that one as well, so, yeah? Yeah, go for it. Is that what we're going to go for? Um, we're going to go for Kalashnikov. OK, Kalashnikov on the flag of Mozambique. It's the right answer. Well done, and well done, David, there. OK, Egghead's your second question. Which Radio 4 topical comedy show presented by Steve Punt and Hugh Dennis was first heard in 1998? Is it Down the Line, The Now Show, or Stop the Week? I don't know. I don't listen to the radio. Have you any idea? Yeah, I'd say Stop the Week. Was, uh, I've been in, this, been in the audience for this a couple of times. I've always got a jazz club. Yeah, I think it is Stop the Week. Well, yeah, the only one who yeah. got any idea. Yeah. So we'll have to go with that. No, I'll go with Stop the Week, if it's wrong. Play a call, but... No, no. Well, there's only Chris who has any idea on this one, because Daphne and I have never uh, have anything to, to bring to mind, so we're going to go with Stop the Week. OK, Stop the Week, Steve Punt and Hugh Dennis first heard in 1998. Stop, because that's the second time in a question you've had to say I don't uh, listen to the radio. Yes, I don't. don't. <laughs> well, uh, first time round you got it. This time you haven't. It's oh. incorrect. It is the Now Show. Oh. Which turns this next question it's rather an important one let's not uh, ratchet up the importance uh, i'll just mention 26000 pounds one question for 26 grand right get this you've got the money you've beaten the eggheads in which film did edward woodward play an australian soldier court martialed during the boer war breaker morant the getting of wisdom or walkabout well, it wasn't what about. Uh, no, I don't think it was that one either. I haven't seen any um, of the others. I, mean, I know who Edward Woodward is. Have you seen Getting of Wisdom? No. I haven't seen any. I've got, uh, a, I've got a sneaking feeling it might be Break Him Around. A sneaking feeling is good. Well, it's better, it's better, it's better than no feeling. It's better than nothing, isn't um, it? Does anybody have any memory of the... No, no I'm afraid I haven't seen those films. Um, well, should we go for that one? OK. I think it's a, for me it's a 50-50. And I don't really have anything to go on. Should we go with your hunch? Yeah. Because it's a small hunch, but it's better than go, go our it. nothing, isn't it? Okay. Um, 
Okay, Dermot, we're, going, we're not sure, to be honest, but um, we're going to try for break a morant. Okay, break a morant. Put it down to a 50-50, so more or less a toss of the coin for £26,000. It's the right answer, you've won! <laughs> I heard Ed saying that David, you star, and yes, indeed, I think we all we all heard it. David played a major role in that final round, and indeed, stormed through his head to head against Dave there on history. But you all played your part. Of course, you all played your part. Ed, well, who knows? Would Kevin have known the Now Show, for instance? He did. So you know, again, illustrating to all teams who are yet to play the Airheads the importance of those head to heads. That was a critical victory, Ed, taking Kevin out. Well, she'd at least still be playing here because it would have gone to sudden death. And, of course, some Heather and Bob elated there in the background, unlucky in their head-to-heads. £26,000. Any idea what you're going to do with it? Um, well, <laughs> you don't have to decide now. Well, I think um, some will certainly make its way to life cycle. Yeah. life cycle. I'm, so, I'm yes. donating mine to life cycle. I'm, I'm a trustee of the charity, and I did the whole thing to support the charity, so mine will be going straight to life cycle. Okay, well, listen, I just think it's a very worthy cause that uh, that money will be going to, to and a uh, very generous uh, gesture there from you, David. But £26,000, the egghead scalp, as well, as I said in the introduction, didn't I, how well they've been playing for the last month <laughs> and beyond, and there they are. See, Daphne, I had an inkling, didn't I? Yeah. Maybe I put the hex on yeah. <laughs> I said, could be in some trouble. Well, congratulations once again. Two and a half tandems. You've just won £26,000. You are officially... Cleverer than the eggheads. Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> and two and a half tandems, they've proven that it can be done. The eggheads can be beaten. So join us next time on Eggheads to see if a new team of challengers will be just as successful. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>